I'm going to end by talking about the subject of patriotism. One of these strange, odd ideas we seem to have drifted into in the last few years is this artificial divide between the idea of left and right in our wonderful post-truth society where people from, for the when want of a better word, the right, and all such terms are reductionist, will point at people at the left and say they can't be patriotic because they're wokies or whatever. I find this very worrying, the idea that we can't accept that a range of people in a society can have an attachment to a country or be patriotic. Can we imagine if it was World War II again, where the country, while it was imperfect and while it had its own political divides, an entire country got together behind Winston Churchill and the other members of the cabinet and managed to work together. Now we have people shouting at anyone if they have a different opinion that they can't be patriotic and excluding them. It seems like a cheap form of jingoism, not patriotism. It seems like a very, very cheap form of nationalism at its worst. For those who wonder where the word jingoism comes from, because it gets referenced quite a lot, um, here's Britannica's a very brief article on it. Oh, well, you can have a longer one, but I'm not about to subscribe to Britannica to do that. I could pull you loads of longer articles using other sources, but we just want something brief jingoism an attitude of belligerent nationalism or a blind adherence to the rightness of virtue of one's nation or society simply because it is one's own done as a joke it's funny where people start doing jokes about silly french men or up to a point silly Fre irish men or you know there's there is a certain amount of humor in it if you don't take it too far the term apparently originated in England during the Russo-Turkish War of 1877-78 to when the British Mediterranean squad was sent to Gallipoli to restrain Russia and war fever was aroused. Funny how history repeats. Supporters of the British government's policy towards Russia came to be called jingoes as a result of the phrase by jingo, which appeared in the refrain of a popular song, we don't want to fight it by jingo, we do, we've got the ships, we've got the men and got the money too. That's all very well, but do we really want to fight unless we really must? Oh, and here's Wikipedia's article on it, which goes on a, a great a great deal further. Now, the problem with jingoism is it eventually starts leading to scapegoating. And what you see with a lot of these channels that are going on about it is you start to see a rise in sort of comments about anti-Semiticism, you start to see comments about naughty Muslims underneath them. The endless wooden doors comments that are plastered on the loads of those channels. And it go, it starts to provoke problems of its own. It becomes a nimpty form of patriotism. Patriotism, to me, is about remembering to be proud of your country, but admitting that it isn't perfect, that it could always be improved. The first duty of the patriot in my book is to criticize his country meaningfully so that it will be improved.